all right guys this is truck and a chainsaw welcome back and officially we were back to actually having a truck and it's a little more than what we started with as you can tell by the amount of uh coal we're rolling but this is our new work truck our new beast it's an f-350 she's got a power stroke in her as you can tell we deleted her we did quite a bit of upgrades to her and we're just about to get to get to the log site if you guys haven't been here in a while or watched the streams things have changed we've logged a lot of wood and we might go to a new logging spot because around here it's it's getting super hilly as we go and spread out so it's it's kind of like messing us up we don't have the proper equipment this is what about guys when i ended the stream on sunday these guys kept working and they made a lot of money we're sitting at like 188,000 after buying this truck which was 22k this trailer this trailer was nine it was used new these are like 15 16 with the log support so that that was a pretty good pretty good deal but eventually and i'm thinking we want to go across the bridge so all right what's up boys cj ian what's up what's and up brother luck. ready to move some logs yes sir yes sir so what we got here is we got the new pickup you boys excited she rolled coal pickup does she roll coal yeah, nice. did you did you see the chimney smoke coming in it was like a god dang yeah lo I think locomotive cool. man it was like a locomotive coming in town how much it yeah, was rolling sure. but what do you think cj a nice truck it's a nice looking truck. Yes, sir. Looks good. I got a cooler in the back for when we're done for today. I got some surprises in there for you. All right. Uh, see, you might want to get the sump grinder off the back of the, the 4440 because it kind of messes you up. Um, All right. I'll and then that. throw weights on it. But where do you guys want to log today? Maybe back behind the shed here. I don't know. Back behind the shed. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out ground that's not as hilly because it's tough. It's tough with the hilly, especially yeah. the 4440 being two wheel drive. She, uh, she don't like it too much. We could... Uh, keep going in the direction we were going uh last time over there towards the station or towards the gas yeah. station yeah and we could widen that road too but for sure it's just not all right i'll meet you guys down there all right guys so you're probably wondering why did i get another trailer well i got this trailer because one it's a gooseneck has way more support and then i i wanted a truck all you guys were saying get a diesel truck so i had to i had to we still have the c70 with the the bumper pull i'm probably gonna get rid of the f600 which was a beast and got us to where we are today but like i said we got to get rid of things honestly it might we i'm not gonna sell it for that much people are gonna know i beat it up there are an insane amount of dent scratches uh holes on that thing from what the torture we put it through so anyway we're gonna get to work i think we're gonna head towards the sawmill and widen this path because it's not it's not too hilly from here to the sawmill it's not it's a little hilly but it's not crazy all right boys what i'm thinking is we'll just kind of go really really wide and then just towards the sawmill sounds good that work again where's cj i don't know he's over uh, there having somewhere a few problems what getting this thing attached uh what are you trying to attach oh the the weight uh, the weight yeah okay. i'll tell you what it does take a little bit of muscle i can head up there call me in a bit if you can't get it okay all right sounds good all right ian here's your saw let's Thank get you, to sir. work brother let's try and knock it out by the time they get down here all right let's go start dropping them all right guys we're still using it we're still like when a lot of you guys are saying like spencer like what what are you doing like this isn't trucking and chainsaw anymore you got a lot of equipment well we do we have tractors now but besides that we're still using trucking a chainsaw i'll try not to stray too far away from it the goal is the goal is to eventually like log enough so that we can kind of build a farm build a town possibly and i think i think we're probably gonna only do trucking and chainsaw at least this specific trucking and chainsaw actually logging in live streams instead of videos from here on out so let me know what you guys think of that we'll probably just do live streams we live stream on the weekends saturdays or sunday i gotta figure out perfect time for me to do it but we've been doing it sunday so far the buzz on in my favorite song is playing in a broadway bar then you walk in and you're all alone the hottest in the room by far Sweet smile, let me kiss it till I die For the rest of our lives, yes You and me were meant to be For the rest of our lives, drop your guard And take a ride with me Cause you got what I want Oh, and I got what you need For the rest of our lives It's gonna be a done deal Just wait and see 
right guys we have a full load and one of them is is dragon so hopefully we get that figured out hopefully it stays on so we're gonna see what the power stroke can handle this is a lot of weight and i think we cut everything short enough where it shouldn't drag and we shouldn't pop away okay all right i think that one jumped back on okay there we go and we're good we have dualies and then i got fuel rims on here and i have mudding tires so the mudding tires help out quite a bit perfect there we go we're moving we're grooving and we're rolling so much coal. there's gonna be like black all over these trees all, all over the pine trees when we after so many trips and there we go this trailer works really really good it's it's pretty uh are we about to tip please don't tip it is like a little glitchy right now but i think that's just because we started with a really bad base so we need to fix that next time make a way better base all right let's see if we can back up get used to it with the new truck and trailer yeah, that was kind of bad but the trailer is quite a bit longer too so now we're selling logs that are way longer not way longer but it's just everything's easier when they're longer we don't have to make sure they're a perfect size and stuff so all right there we go she looks beautiful i i love th this this is my favorite truck in the game a lot of people ask me like what's your favorite model what's your favorite truck they have 350 I, it, there we go we sold it for almost 40k so that that was huge that was that was that might have been our biggest load ever i want to say but this is this is my favorite truck by far it's a it's a 93 f350 power stroke and there's quite a bit of custom stuff to it as well and then with this trailer it makes it super good and i used it for a polling video if you guys remember that there, we can actually put like a, a polling weight block on the front so when you're pulling something like the front end doesn't pop which uh, or pop up but which which would actually be pretty good for locking because we have so much weight but now it's a it's a gooseneck so we should be able to maintain and keep our front wheels on the ground and we did i can't imagine getting that much of that much like of a bigger load so we should be good and i think we're gonna we're gonna start working back towards the sawmill some more so i might might kind of post up on this hill I, I don't like to post up on hills but it seems like it might be our best option maybe go like right around here all right there's still some logs these guys are going after maybe wait all right guys we're making good progress on our second load we're we're doing one tractor per trailer so it's it's going like a bit slower it feels like but we're also gonna have like two trailers at the end of this this round i guess we're getting things going the guys are cutting a lot we're grinding a lot of stumps that takes up a lot of time stump grinding itself so we got some pretty good piles here that they laid down for us and we're gonna get to work sometimes i've been able to probably sometimes i can get to that one's probably gonna fall off yep there it goes uh but like the the bigger ones i'll probably only stick with one because once i get two of the small ones i'm pretty tippy but got a really good base i think i think prices of the wood is gonna decrease a lot after we just sold that amount of wood but hopefully it doesn't change too much because this is for sure gonna beat out our other load just because it's so much more organized a lot more wood unless i mess it up like i am oh come on no don't i don't want it to all right there we go we got it thank goodness that stump there's a lot of stumps right here but thanks thank goodness that one was pretty short so we'll jump back over here and i think there they are with the c70 so they moved their spots unless they ran out of logs they're going to sell i think i don't think it's full just yet what i'm going to do is just first get this out of the way and then get it perpendicular to where i'm loading so that i have to make do a lot less driving all right there we go that's about where i want it i did kind of block him off he was going for some trees over here but I'm gonna load up this pile and I'm gonna I'm gonna stack this thing. I wanna see how much money we can make. We're at 227,000. I mean, if we wanted to, we could buy some pretty big stuff. So go in the comment section, and tell me what we should buy next. I'm thinking we gotta buy something that can process logs faster. Uh, I, I'm happy with what we have for like loading the logs and stuff, but um, it's tough, it's tough. We'll see. We could get a Scorpion King roughly. We could at least take a loan out for one with how much cash we have and how much income we're making, but the problem is they're kind of tough to to load in with the trailer and these ones are a little bit different than 17 so let me know what you guys think i don't know the best way to do it hopefully you guys can help all right guys we we're going to sell everything <laughs> we're actually we're trying we're gonna see how much we can actually sell all together so it's gonna be really fun let's see see how much it goes for power stroke is absolutely way down this the the last log was pain the butt and it's kind of off centered but the rest of it is amazing and we we're squatting we aren't squatting that bad um but yeah all right guys we're getting ready to sell we're having some backing up problems um by one of our drivers but we'll figure it out we're actually really close to sawmill and we were thinking that we can almost just get some get some logs in the back of in the tractors and then go from there let's see if we sell that was 45k all right, 45,000 in one load. That was our record. Let's see what's in this load right here. That's absolutely insane. And that's quite a bit of hours of work to get all those in here. Let's see if those guys can back it up. But the F-350 
he's a beast it's already making us so much money all right there we go he's backing up all right 40 uh 40 000. so we almost made 100k there and we're sitting really pretty over 300 000. but that's gonna wrap up today's episode we have a little bit of a mess and we opened all this up so it's gonna be a lot better driving i want to i want to get over the water eventually i want to get over right here is where we're at we made an awesome trail i want to get to here and kind of like maybe there's better wood it is still pretty steep honestly this is like probably one of the more flatter parts right here looks pretty flat that's not terrible we're kind of in like a goalie right there but it's kind of like the hills can we make a farmable maybe maybe not but anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's episode let me know what we should buy next with our money more land more equipment and then what kind of equipment just let me know f350 is a beast it looks beautiful i love the stack right here so cool thank you guys for watching peace out and i'll see you in the next one